So there's been a lot of people talking about how the word retarded and its pejorative use. There are some that, I guess they want to ban the word outright, some of them. But most seem to just have an issue with the word being used too often, you know? Kind of like the N-word, that kind of idea in general. And, I mean... I understand that, but at the same time, I think this has a lot to do with context. It's very important for people to consider. Because, after all, we know that it's a medical term. To retard. You know, just like something is flame retardant. To slow or hamper. That's what that word means. And in this case, we're talking specifically about mental development. But, at the same time, it could be used to insult people who aren't mentally challenged. In which case, Obviously, it's not being used to demean someone who is mentally challenged because you're not insulting them specifically. So, but then again, I mean, at that point, aren't you saying that it's bad to be mentally challenged? And that's kind of an indirect insult, you know? Well, you could say that, yes, that you are, you know, actually insulting the mentally retarded by using their condition as a pejorative, sure. But the thing is... We, none of us can actually maintain that being mentally deficient is a good thing. I'm going to say it flat out. You can't sit there and maintain that somehow that being mentally deficient is a positive quality. So when someone does use it as an insult, they're not saying that the mentally retarded are something that they are not. And yes, it's callous to put it that way, but that's how it is. They're saying that the other person is exhibiting qualities of someone who is mentally challenged. Which, yes, it is some, somewhat insulting. You can say it is somewhat degrading. I'm not going to disagree with that. But what I will say is that you can't actually take it beyond what it is. It's an insult given to a person from another person. And that in no way actually demeans those who are mentally challenged. Someone saying words doesn't actually hurt them beyond, yes, they might be offended. And, you know, that's not a good thing. Tr offending people, we can all agree, is not good. But the damage done is, in the end, limited, I would say, compared to the idea of limiting freedom in any way when it comes to speech. Or, you know, it's not fire in a crowd at theater. It's not speech elicited... It's not speech designed to elicit bad outcomes or harm to anybody. It's just, it's an insult. And to lose sight of that or take it out of context to make it into something bigger than what it is. Like, all, you know, mentally challenged people are hurt by this and blah, blah, blah. No, that's not true. But that's patently false. Well, what can't be denied is that individuals may be insulted by it when you use it in public. Oh, and that is true. And what it comes down to then is a person's level of respect for their environment and the people around them. It's but, contextual, as you've noted. In some contexts, you would feel comfortable, you know, joking with friends, perhaps. You might say it's in bad taste, but that's opinion. You know, where, hey, are you retarded? You know, you can joke around with friends. And in context, no harm is meant to anyone. It's used as a joke, something funny. People laugh. But for some people, at least, and many people, I would imagine, you wouldn't use that same sort of language and dialogue while walking around in public, out in town or something. You know, at a mall. You're not going to just yell out to one of your friends, are you fucking retarded? No, because there's a level of tact that comes into play there that doesn't come into play when you're all just at your house having fun. And maybe some people will say, again, that it's still distasteful to use it at all, but that's not your call to make, really. If you're not there, it's not in public, leave it alone at that point. If it's in public, well, then you can object as much as they can say it. You can sit there and call someone out and say, I don't think you should say that. And that's in your right. That's what I was thinking is, it's distasteful, but right there, it's in the word, taste. It has to do with personal values and perspective. It does. And again, like I want to reiterate, I'm not going to sit here and try to defend it or denigrate the use of it. I'm just simply making the point that it is a word. It is a simple connotation, mentally challenged. Using it in a manner that is insulting to people who are not mentally challenged, again, maybe in bad taste, but it is not truly harmful in a direct way. No one is actually being injured by this in a measurable level. They're being offended, perhaps, but 
that's part, unfortunately, that's part of what comes with freedom of speech and having public, is people are going to say things that offend you. I think at this point, it almost sounds like a callous response, but it seems like people who are offended by the use of the word retard in and of itself need to be taught about how much value they themselves should be putting to words uh, in and of themselves, as opposed to the context behind them. Kind of like people should be taught to, you know, actually give the proper amount of weight to a word insult as opposed to a meaningful insult. And yes, this is sort of one of those things that goes both ways. It can be said that it's in bad taste to do this, but it's also overreaction to sit there and scream at someone who says it or to call them monster or something or you hate, you know, all retarded people. I've, I've heard it where someone says it, you know, and they were joking or being insulting or whatever and someone sits there and says, well, you hate all mentally challenged people, don't you? And you're a bigot. And that's ridiculous. It's uncalled for and it's a reaction that's so over the top to what is in essence a word. A, a sound made by someone's throat. It has no more power than what it's given. If someone insults you, the only time it should affect you is if it's actually true and you feel bad about what they said. Otherwise, you who should cares? Be, yeah, you should be secure in the fact that what they said doesn't matter anyway. And there might be some mentally challenged people who are offended by the use of retarded. That is true. And it is unfortunate if someone tries to go out of their way to offend them or antagonize them, as that's always bad and it's just not good. But, but again, people have the right to be stupid. They have the right to say dumb things that are bad and out of taste. It's just a part of human freedom. They're not yelling fire in a crowded theater. They can say it. You don't have to like it, but they can say it. And you know what? A better response than screaming at them, I would think, would just be, tell them, hey, I don't think that's appropriate, and leave it at that. Screaming at them is not going to make them change their mind if they weren't going to. In fact, I would go so far as to say a better response altogether would just be to ignore it. Move on with your life. You have bigger, better things to worry about, I would imagine, than some ignorant person's use of a word that you don't like. And yes, that could be callous, but quite simply, it isn't in other people's nature or their responsibility to care. Just realize that. It's not my job to not offend you. It's not any other person's job to not offend you. They are going to say what they do, and it really is up to you how you're going to respond to this. If you're going to let it offend you and get you all riled up and everything, then that's on you, honestly. They didn't make you angry, you let it happen. These you... words don't trigger some kind of involuntary, uncontrollable response. You have that power to control it, and if you don't, again, maybe they were in bad taste, but the reaction is on you. People have a freedom, to sp uh, people have a freedom of speech, and you don't have a freedom to not be offended. Yeah. You have a freedom to not listen. That is what comes with the freedom of speech. The freedom to not listen. If someone's talking, you can walk away. If some station has said something offensive on the radio, you can change the channel. You don't have the right to shut people's entire dialogue down, though. Even if you find it distasteful or pointless or ignorant, they have as much right as you do to be all of those things. And as my personal note, I am not a fan of calling random people retarded or using it in that manner. But I will defend to the death any other person's right to use that word as they see fit, because it is just a word. And after all, words are the expression of the freedom of speech. If you can't say certain words, well then every word that's denied is a hole knocked in that freedom. Even if it is a word so misused, if you will, as retarded. Even if it's a word like that. Even if it's the N-word. Very distasteful and offensive, right? But you can't sit there and tell people you can never say that ever for any reason. That, that's unfair. Worse, it devalues freedom of speech. It is now a form of expression that is beyond use. And that's always dangerous.